so-called gang, all right? So we got this moment problem, but this time it's a moment around a certain axis. So this time we're finding the moment around the z-axis. So when we're finding the moment around the z-axis, what's that equation gonna look like? So moment around an axis is gonna be the position vector dotted with, or it's gonna be the unit vector, so I'm just gonna label this u instead, so it'll be a little easier. So this is gonna be the unit vector of the axis we're rotating around, dotted with the position vector crossed with the force vector. So this position vector is what we're gonna to have to find, and the unit vector we can pretty much just figure out really easy, and we have force. So let's do it all. So position vector, we're around the z-axis. So for the z-axis, it's gonna be zero in the i, zero i plus zero j plus k, right? Plus one in the k direction, is what we can say about that. Because it's just one in the k, and this is a unit vector in itself. If you uh, do the thing to find the unit vector, you're gonna find that that's equal to one in its magnitude. So R, right, R is what you need to actually figure out. So R, well, what is R? Oh, this is not a unit vector. R, well, tip to tail, right, it's a position vector. So it's tail is at zero. So if we're doing tip to tail, all we have to do is say, well, it's tip is at this point. So it's tip, oh, we have angles to work with, so that's gonna be a little tougher. But basically we can do it pretty easy. So we know that the hypotenuse, if we're laying it down on the x-axis, is 0.25 meters and we have an angle. So we can find how much in the x and the y and the z it goes. So if we want to find how much in the x it goes, we're gonna take the magnitude, right, 0.25. We're finding in the x direction right now. That's the hypotenuse times cosine of 30, right? Or no, it's gonna be sine of 30, right? Uh, I guess I could draw what this looks like, but you basically have this is 0 0.25, and this is what, 30 degrees? So in this drawing, I guess um, this is x and this is y, so don't get too confused. But basically for finding x, it's 0 0.25 sine of 30. I, and then of course, uh, it's all in the positive direction. There's no negatives that we have to worry about. So that's gonna be plus 0 0.25 cosine of 30 in the J, and then it just straight up gives you the, uh, the Y, which is 0 0.4. So did I simplify this? I did simplify this. So simply, more simply, this is 0 0.125I uh, plus 0 0.217J plus 0 0.4K. And this is, uh, what, in meters? Yeah, this is in meters. Cool. Okay. okay, cool. So now we just have to do the determinant, right? So if we're going to do the determinant, uh, we could do it like this and then dot it with it, but there's actually a pretty easy way to do it. Uh, what you do is you set up your determinant, but instead of putting i, j, k across the top, you just put your position vector, or I mean your unit vector. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1 instead. This is going to be a lot, this is going to be less steps, but if you don't know how to do this or if you feel concerned on the test, you can just do the cross product and then do the dot product afterwards. It's going to be no issue. So we found R, 0 0.125, uh, 0 0.217, 0 0.4, and then um, what force? So this force is given to us. So negative 50, negative 50, 40, and 15. Are we looking for magnitude? What are we looking for? Uh, Determine the component of the moment created on the z-axis. Yeah, okay, I don't know. But basically what we're gonna find is that when you wanna do it like this, we're gonna take what would be the i, so it's gonna be zero, and then we're gonna do the little determinant here. So it's gonna be zero times this, this, but it's just, it doesn't matter what's in here, right? You're multiplying it by zero, so it doesn't matter there's gonna be nothing in the i direction, which makes sense. If we're rotating something around the z, we're not gonna have any i or j. So same thing, if we take this, it's gonna be zero times, or it's gonna be minus zero times whatever is in here. It doesn't matter what's in there, because it's multiplied by zero. But then if we go to k, then we're actually multiplying it by one. So then it'll be one times, uh, so yeah, it'll be, but actually there's no i, j, k. Once we do this thing with the, uh, with the dot product, so the dot product gets rid of a vector. You do not end up with a vector, you end up with a magnitude. So because we're doing this, we do not do i, j, k. Get rid of that. So then it'll be one, so then we're gonna do uh, one, 
or 0 0.125 times 40 minus negative 50 times 0 0.217, right? Just doing this times this minus this times this. And if you do that, you're gonna get M is equal to 15.8 Newton meters. Cool. That's your final answer right there. Uh, not too tricky, but basically you just have to learn how to find all the components and then learn how to do a cross product. Just two steps and you got it. So there you go. So yeah, see you in the next video guys. If you need any more help with statics, feel free to check out my playlist. Any other problems, you know, physics, calc three, I got them all. So yeah, see you in the next one guys, peace.